Hi guys and welcome to another Dibby theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to add a dynamic logo to your Divi header and footer. I've got a logo out there and I've also got one on the bottom here. And the advantage of adding a dynamic logo means whenever you change out your logo, if you need to change your logo out, if you change it in the header, it'll change in the footer. If you change it in the footer, it'll change in the header, which is great. Really easy to do, no coding involved in this today, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Let's enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Okay, and up here I've actually got a custom header and this will work with the Divi regular header also. So I'm going to edit the header template. I'm going to go inside little cog. Here's my logo. And I'm going to trash it. Now to set it, rather than add an image, to set it as a dynamic logo, what we need to do is go over the little icon over the right hand side here that looks like three discs click on it and we can hit site logo and as you can see that's put it back okay and we'll go down to the footer and we'll do the same thing edit the footer template go down to the little image I've got here I'm going to do the same thing and again, rather than adding an image, I'm going to go up to the dynamic content and choose site logo. OK, well, let's save our changes. And exit the Visual Builder. OK, so we've assigned a dynamic logo to each of our footer and header elements there. Now let's check it out, make sure it's going to work. So to switch it out, let's switch it back to my regular logo. To do that, let's go down to Dashboard, down to Divi. We'll go to Theme Options. I'm on there right now. Right at the top, you'll see Logo. And this is where you set your logo initially for the Divi theme. Let's upload a different one. There's my regular one already there. I'm going to go ahead and set that one as the logo. I'm going to save my changes now. Now let's go back to the page and refresh. And you should see that logo at the top change. There we go, it's changed back to my regular logo. And if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice that has also changed to that logo as well. So that's really easy to do. And that's a little time saver on your site. Using dynamic content wherever you can is always a good idea. We've done it before with updating the date on the copyright statement before and page titles dynamic content is a wonderful thing to use. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. A little short and sweet video there for you. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.